10 two-year-old trotters in motion for the seventh race, second division of the Champlain Grand Circuit Stakes, and they're off and trotting. Oakley Julian is attempting a fine start the far outside. Bob and Jerry has come out fastest of all. Tight to the inside went Mountain View Speed. First down to the pylons. Bob and Jerry is off stride. There's Village Barrister out well in between trotters. Filling up the four hole is Key Stone Holiday and into the top five came Son of Grace parked to the outside. Now moving in sixth in a tight spot around that first turn. That was Cobal. Cobal to the flank of Banker Hall on the outside. Third from last into the first turn went Ed Edison Sealster, then Baron Hall is second from last, and Bob and Jerry, the gap to trailer of the quarter, was 29 and one fifth. Oakley Julian trotting up against Village Barrister on the way to the half. Mountain View Speed tracking the leaders along the inside from third. It's three more lengths. Keystone Holiday is fourth. Son of Grace parked out in fifth. Coming on to be sixth is Banker Hall and Cobal, seventh along the inside. Moving on the outside, eighth, but a wide trip for Edison Sealster, then Baron Hall, and the distance trailer is Bob and Jerry. Village Barrister Roger Mayotte led him to the half in 59 seconds. Village Barrister into the final turn. Coming to him on the outside, Son of Grace has gone a big wide trip. Oakley Julian finally got a tuck in from third. Banker Hall is going a big trip. Out most of the way, but spotting second over, now fourth, and up into the race. Looking three high from fifth is Edison Sealster, Mountain View Speed, right there in six. Seventh on the inside for Keystone Holiday. Cobal is eighth out. Ninth at head stretch was Baron Hall and Bob and Jerry out of contention. They passed three quarters in 130 and one fifth, and down the stretch. In the second division of the Champlain Stakes, two-year-old Colt Trot Village Barrister has led it much of the way. He's trying to repel Son of Grace, but Banker Hall and Richie were a chilly second over. Here comes Trevor with Banker Hall to win the Champlain Stakes. That's Banker Hall to win it by a length. Village Barrister second. Son of Grace third. Oakley Julian fourth. 158 and four. Banker Hall won it. Number eight, Banker Hall returns as the seventh race winner. Balanced image, two-year-old Bay Colt from Bicar Jazette. Owned by Tommy Anderson. Of his first win in three lifetime appearances, 158 and four is the life's mark in the Champlain Stakes for Banker Hall. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a point of uh, some interest, this victory. You've just been a part of Canadian history. That's the longest of the long shots in the recorded modern day history of the Woodbine and Mohawk Circuit. Going off at uh, just under 197 to one. $395.30 to win. Banker Hall, and incredibly, Trevor Ritchie, who was the winning driver in the Hamiltonian this year, with the longest long shot win in the modern recorded history of harness racing on the Woodbine and Mohawk Circuit. Mr. Trot, what a year he's having. He sweeps both ends of the Champlain Stakes here tonight, although a much bigger surprise this time around. I know to the public, uh, setting a mutual record payoff here, uh, Trevor Ritchie, you told me off camera you were just as surprised as the public he was this good. Yeah, I was surprised. I mean, you look at his program and he doesn't really show, uh, you know, that kind of a mile in him. But uh, going down the backstretch, he felt real strong on me. And, uh, you know, right then I was thinking, geez, you never know. Now, this is your first time on this one as well. When you look at the program and you see all of those breaks, you know uh, that he's had his problems coming in. What's your mindset coming into a race like this? Well, I was just trying to keep him uh, out of trouble, basically. Uh, you know, there was a couple that ran in front of him, and I was just hoping that I didn't have to steer him too quick one way or the other to avoid them. And uh, uh, I was just trying to keep his mind on his business as much as I could. Now, he must have felt good the entire way. Was there any point in the race where you thought, hey, I'm live and I've got a shot at this? Yeah, really. I mean, uh, down the back stretch and around the last turn, I mean, he had a good hold of me and he felt like he was willing to go. And, uh, you know, right then I was thinking, uh, geez, when I tip off of uh, uh, Roger's back, you know, he, or I mean, uh, Steve's back, he might have some go left. All right. Uh, we know you're an avid golfer. Are you going to uh, go see Tiger Woods this weekend? No, I'd like to, but I think I'll watch him on TV. All right. Uh, he's becoming the Tiger Woods of the trot races here. Trevor Ritchie he scores another big win tonight. Congratulations. Thanks, Greg. Okay, up next, race number eight. It'll be our final division of tonight's Simcoe.